Hey guys, it's David again. And in this video, I'm gonna show you uh, the ultimate easiest way to set up ADB, USB drivers, and fast boot for your Windows computer to be able to see your Android device. So as I mentioned, this is for Windows, but if you have a Mac, you can also get ADB and fast boot working. Um, but just click the link below to be taken to my video on that instead. We're gonna download the ADB fast boot installer by clicking on the link there. Take to this developers page. By the way, please donate to these developers if this actually helped you out. Uh, scroll down and you'll find his downloads. Uh, he says the top one has a problem, so we're gonna get his stable one, 1 1.3. Download that and make sure to save it to your desktop. And then you're gonna right click on that, hit run as administrator, hit Y, enter, Y, enter, Y, enter, hit next, finish, and then it'll close out. Okay, and then on your phone, you need to go into settings. Scroll all the way down to about phone. Scroll all the way down to build number and keep tapping on that until it tells you you are a developer. Then you can hit back, developer options. Scroll down and turn on USB debugging. Hit OK. And now also, if you are using this to root and unlock the bootloader, for example, you're going to want to turn OEM unlocking on as well while you're in here. Then plug the device in via USB. Okay, so with the phone plugged in, you're gonna open your file explorer. We're gonna to go to your computer, C drive, and there should be a new folder called ADB. You can open that, and it should have ADB and fast boot, etc. in it. We're gonna hold shift on the keyboard and right click anywhere blank in here, and then hit open command window here. And you're gonna type the following with hitting enter at the end of each line. So in this, it's ADB, devices, and hit enter. Now, if you have an older device, it should just pop up a serial number here like this, and you're all set. Uh, that means you have ADB working. If you have a newer device, it will pop up a message on the phone asking you to allow the RSA keys. Check always allow and click OK, and then type in ADB devices again, and then this time you'll get a serial number. All right, so if you have an issue where you can't see the serial number for whatever reason, um, and that thing's just not popping up the RSA key, go on your computer and use your search or anti in device manager. Click the one from the control panel. And then in here, what, what'll happen is, mine worked, but you'll have something in here and it'll have an exclamation point. Whenever you see that, click on that exclamation point. It means that the drivers weren't installed properly. You're gonna right click the thing with the exclamation point like that. Hit update driver software, browse my computer. Let me pick from a list. And then you'll see these right here will be available for you because of the ADB setup process that we did. These are the ones that you have. So you're gonna use the very top one, click next, click yes, click okay, and go through the whole process. And then unplug the phone and plug it back in and try the ADB devices command again. And there you go, hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, please thumbs up it or share it, it's greatly appreciated. And if you wanna get more videos on how to get the most out of your devices, please subscribe here to the YouTube channel or check me out on social networks at The Unlocker. And as always, thanks for watching.